Hi guys, I'm going to talk about the P Invoke add-in for Visual Studio. So you can find this add-in on pinvoke.net. It'll take you to a link to the actual download page. It's right here. And then to the right again, you'll have a download uh, button for the actual add-in for VS 2010 to VS 2012. It will then download the file that will allow you to install this add-in. So let's open up a new project and I'll show you the plugin. So the plugin is a menu item in the main menu and there's a link to the actual site. Other than that, you'll use it to insert signatures. And I don't suggest you try to insert a signature with the designer view open. Sometimes it will cor corrupt your designer view or uh, your designer file. Other times it will freeze the entire visual, uh, IDE and sometimes it will actually insert a code in one of the op um, open text editor tabs or code views. It's a very overlooked bug in my opinion. This is a useful plugin. It is like I insert signatures all the time looking for sig signatures, um, but I must say it's pretty poorly made. And um, so let's insert this uh, signature here. And I forgot that I actually have to have um, code open. So let's try that again. Let's open up a code view. And you're going to have to specify where it's inserted by, you know, changing where the caret is in the text editor and go to insert signatures it does not remember your search history at all there's no auto completion doesn't restore its last search state or anything like that so here's a get username we'll insert that take a look at it and there's the insertion there uh, basically it does very little work regarding white space and I very much don't like it at all. Uh, the way it formats it, it doesn't do any work. And um, if the interrupt service namespace is required, well, which it always will be because you're going to use a DLL import with C sharp, it does not auto insert the using statement. Um, I'm pretty sure that the plugin could interface with Visual Studio that it updates the formatting for the document but it doesn't and it doesn't do any white space work itself so there's another downfall with the plugin as well you can't configure the default modifiers for the um, the signature or anything like that anyways if you insert signatures with your um, if you insert signatures often and because you you will be limited to what you can do with Windows with just the .NET framework. You often will have to um, do a platform invocation if you are a more advanced de developer and this plugin will be helpful to you in some way even though it's a bit uh, uh, a bit limited. Anyways, this is the pinvoke uh, add-in. See you later.